This video links to my previous video about angina, so please see that if you want to learn everything you need to know about angina. I'm about to tell you an interesting story of a patient which will highlight how useful it is to have this knowledge. So there was a 55 year old Asian man attending accident and emergency also known as casualty. Let's call him Adam. Adam is obese, diabetic and has high blood pressure. He works as a taxi driver and does not take his medication regularly despite advice. He has three children ranging from 10 year old to 21 years old. He is unsure if he has family history of heart disease, however he tells me his dad died suddenly when he was in his 40s but is unsure of the cause. Today he is attending accident and emergency with worsening chest pain which is occurring at rest. On taking his history he told me he has been having chest discomfort and breathlessness on exertion for the last few months. He had noticed it initially when he was walking up a hill with his kids and had to stop and rest. Since then, he has noticed that the chest discomfort has been occurring more frequently and with even less exertion such as climbing up the stairs too fast. He attended accident and emergency today because the chest discomfort occurred whilst he was sitting down watching TV. Adam has many risk factors for cardiovascular disease and the history he has given me is classical for stable angina. However, he is getting pain at rest and this means one of two things. He either has unstable angina or he is having a heart attack. These are both medical emergencies. I acted quickly by doing blood tests and other investigations to make sure he wasn't having a heart attack and to exclude other possible causes that might be causing him his chest pain. A heart attack was successfully excluded by the investigations and this means he was most likely suffering from unstable angina. I initiated the appropriate treatment and then admitted him to the cardiology ward who then organized further tests to determine the severity of his coronary artery disease. Adam had an angiogram which confirmed multiple narrowings due to atherosclerotic disease in his coronary arteries. It was so severe that he ended up requiring open heart surgery, also known as a coronary artery bypass. He ended up staying in hospital for over a month, however made a great recovery afterwards and attended cardiac rehabilitation over the next few months. He was started on a concoction of medication to try and manage his risk factors to help reduce the chances of further heart disease. Adam was already on medication before all this, however was non-compliant. He now understands the importance of taking his medication and making the necessary lifestyle changes. This was an extreme case. The patient failed to seek early medical advice because he lacked the knowledge. He did not know what was causing these symptoms and didn't realize it was something so serious. He presented very late to the hospital and could have easily had a life-threatening or fatal heart attack with the amount of atherosclerotic disease found in his coronary arteries. If my patient had the knowledge of cardiovascular disease, he could have done something sooner to delay or even prevent what happened on this occasion. If you would like to gain this knowledge, then please see my previous video to learn all you need to know about angina. Also, like and share the video with your family and friends so that they can benefit from this knowledge as well. If you have enjoyed the content, then please consider subscribing to this channel so that I can have your support and know that you are benefiting from the videos. I am a full-time doctor and my aim is to provide you with knowledge which can improve and sometimes even save lives. If you have any suggestions for future videos then please leave a comment below. All the best guys, look after yourselves, stay healthy and remember, knowledge saves lives.